Job 11 and 13. Everybody got it? It said, if thou prepared, if thou prepared thine heart and stretch out thy hands toward him, if iniquity be in thy hand, put it far away, and let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacles. How many knows how important it is that we get all sin out of our life, that there is no sin left in us, and the only way that we can do that is through the Holy Ghost. Through prayer every day, through seeking Him, hallelujah, and going and asking Him. And I don't care how far we get in God and how high up and how many deep depths we go into and how higher planes that we go into. How many knows until Jesus returns, we're going to always have to put this flesh down. Always going to have to press toward Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And it, and it's something that we need to know starting out. That way we don't get discouraged when we're trying to get steadfast in our walk in God. Hallelujah. And we all have to fight to keep it. All of us. Hallelujah. And that will never leave because the devil is always going to be there to try to steal your dedication. Always. Hallelujah. But I tell you what, God is, I believe that He is putting that made up mind in us and that purpose in us that we are determined in our spirit that nothing is going to stop us and we're going to maintain and not only maintain what we have started in God, but leap forward in Him and move forward in God. Hallelujah. And that's what we need to do every day. Hallelujah. And it goes on and it says, For then shall thou lift up thy face without spot. For then shall thou lift up thy face without spot. I'm going to read it one more time because I'm wanting this to really stand out to you. For then shall thou lift up thy face without spot, yea, thou shalt be steadfast and shalt not fear. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, as we do this, and that's we empty out, and as we let the Lord, by His Holy Ghost, cleanse us and purify us, hallelujah, and watch our mouths and watch how we conduct ourselves every day, not just one day and then skip another day, but the Lord is saying every day when you get up out of bed, I want you to purpose in your heart that today that you're going to live by my word. Hallelujah. Today you're going to do what I lead and guide you to do. And it's good that when we get up, before our feet even hits the floor, say, Lord, lead and guide me today, and Father, help me to have every step in thy will. And if we'll do that, we'll seek God come forth greater and greater in our lives. Hallelujah. But how many wants to lift up your head without spot? I do. I want to lift up because I know that if everything is right in my life with God, when I look up to Him, then I look up to Him in confidence, in confidence that whatever I ask for, that He will do it. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, God is moving for us. I know He is. Hallelujah. And I, I'm asking God, I said, Lord, you keep telling me to wait. And Lord, and sometimes it's, that's one of the hardest things to ever do is to wait. Because I'm saying, God, if you don't do this, I've got to do that. Lord, if you don't... And, and, and that right there is probably the reason the Lord said, You're waiting. Hallelujah. I need to quit doing that. I said, Lord, help me not to get anxious, Father, and walk in what you want me to walk in, Father. Because whatever it is, God, when it comes to that time and place, it'll be exactly what you want it to be. Hallelujah. But God is teaching us patience. And maybe that's the reason I've been following every hand all week. Everything I've tried to do, it, it, it's been a hindrance. And it's took twice as long to do anything. And I said, God, and, and I said, Lord, just help me, Father. And, and, but the Lord helped me. I was able to maintain my spirit. <laughs> there was a time or two I felt frustration trying to move in. And I said, you get on out of here, you old frustration spirit. I'm not going to yield to you. Hallelujah. And I just sat there and I said, well, Lord, I know it'll work out. And, I, and then I'd go to something else and start doing it. See, that's what you do. So I can come back to that later. And, you know, if it just keeps on and keeps on not working out, 
Well, then just put it aside for a while and then go on and do other things in the gospel or in, in your everyday life, whatever you got to do. Hallelujah. And you'll see that you'll get around that thing. That won't be able to fight up against you as bad. But it says, For thou shalt lift up thy face without spot. Yea, thou shalt be steadfast and shall not fear. And that is one thing God is not wanting us to do is fear. The only thing that we should fear is Him alone. That's it. Do not fear what man can do to you because the only thing that man can do to you if God permits them to, and that takes God's permission for them to, because when you're His child, anything that comes your way, He allows it. And most of the time it's for the trying of our faith and to build us and to mold us and to make us. Hallelujah. Into vessels of honor that He can use us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I tell you what, this is something that God is doing, I believe with all my heart, that He is making us steadfast. And He is taking away all fear. Hallelujah. And if you fear, have fear come up against you. Start rebuking that thing and sending it on its way. By the Word of God. By the Word of God. Don't let that thing come around and stay around. Hallelujah. Because children of God, I'm telling you, and this is Bible. This is not something I'm just trying to get you to believe because I say it's true, but I'm telling you Bible. And the Bible says that we can put these things to flight. You can put them to flight. All you've got to do is submit yourself to God. Then resist the devil steadfast in the faith. And he will flee. He will. Hallelujah. And it goes on, it says, because thou shalt forget thy misery. Isn't that something? Woo. Hallelujah. He says, because thou shalt forget thy misery and remember it as waters that passed away. Woo. Hallelujah. In other words, the Lord is saying all your suffering is not in vain. Hallelujah. I'm going to bring you out of that thing. I'm going to deliver you out of it because many are the afflictions of the righteous, but I delivered them out of them all. And when I deliver you, you're not going to remember what you walked through in the pain. Hallelujah. All you're going to know is joy. Hallelujah. Unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah. It's just like a woman giving a birth to a child. Oh, you know that pain when it's there. Hallelujah. But when that baby is birthed forth, you don't remember that pain anymore. All you seeing is that joy of that new life that you're holding. But that's what God is telling us. Oh, it's hurting to birth this thing. But you hang in there and you birth it, my children. I tell you what, when you're holding that man-child ministry, hallelujah, you're going to look upon it with such great joy. Hallelujah. And all the pain that it's got to get here and that you suffered, you will remember it no more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love him. Hallelujah. I tell you what, there ain't nothing like Jesus. Ain't nothing like him. I don't know, I, I don't know what it would be a day to go without talking to my Lord. I, I just couldn't do it. Hallelujah. Because I love him so much. I love him. His fellowship is so wonderful, so divine. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, I, some, you can get in there and you get to praying and, and seeking God. I tell you what, you just go, you're not in this world anymore. Hallelujah, you're not. You're not of this world anymore. He's taking you in, 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 in places that you, you would never go. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, I love him so much. And thine age shall be clearer than the noonday. Hallelujah. In other words, he's saying your life shall be clearer. Your life shall be clearer than the noonday. Thou shall shine forth. Thou shall be as the morning. And thou shalt be secure because there is hope. What is that hope? That hope is Jesus Christ. Without hope we are men most miserable. But because we have hope in Christ, hallelujah, then we are joyful, hallelujah, and we are full of faith. Yea, thou shalt dig about thee. What Job is saying, you shall dig about thee. In other words, let them, the anointing of God through his work. Dig about you like a tender plant that he can put his word right down in your heart. When I saw that vision of the Lord walking up and sitting on upon a stone, he had this big tablet in his hand and, and a writing pen like I'd never seen before. Hallelujah. And I said, well, this must be of ancient days. And, and I said, Lord, what are you doing? He looked at me. 
And he started writing again. And I said, God, I said, Lord, what are you doing? And he looked at me and he said, I am writing the words upon the tablets of your heart. 